Now, did I hear right that you turned down doing the show? Yeah. Boo! <laughs> They're so mad at me I am for that. so mad. I love that show so much. Right now, it's, it's my time to you know, plant my wow. roots in this world and make something of myself. Wow. <laughs> Where did you find wow. that? <laughs> the hair, the youthful looks. We are flashing it back to our first interviews with our guest wow. co-hosts, Olivia this Jade and Val Strakowski. Wow. Uh, Olivia, that was in 2016 when your mom had just turned down Dancing with the Stars. I and Val forgot that that all existed. Okay, sorry. No, God. we're glad to be bringing you back. Oh my God. <laughs> Val, that was, what year do you think that was? Unfortunately, it wasn't too long ago. It was 2010. That was a good wow. over a decade ago yeah. before you were a full time pro on Dancing with the yeah. Stars. Yeah. So I can't believe they even hired me, honestly. <laughs> I mean, plant my roots and make something of myself. I don't even know but if that's did. like a Russian phrase that I try to translate in English. But well, here you are. You manifested sure. it. I manifested it. Right. I planted my roots. Here we go. <laughs> you made oh. it. What has doing Dancing with the Stars done for your confidence and for who you are as you look back now that it's over? Oh my gosh, I can't believe it's over, first of all. That went by so fast. But kind of like you said, it's just the confidence that I found from doing the show and putting myself out there and working towards something and feeling like I have this genuine sense of pride and I love watching the videos back and the memories that we've made. And it's just like, I mean, it's just something I never expected I would feel and gain from doing a show like this. And I'm just so happy I said yes. Has your experience doing the show potentially changed your mom's thoughts on doing it in the future? I don't think so, but <laughs> she's very proud of me. Olivia, you've just started your podcast, yes. Conversations with Olivia Jade. What has that platform given you? I feel like in interviews, I kind of have this like robotic sort of answer mm. or response. And so it's just a great way for me to genuinely talk about how I feel and it's in my control. Val, you were a guest on her podcast and you said this could be your last season on Dancing with the Stars. I love the show. I love being on it. I'm so grateful uh, for the opportunity. Is this my last season? Probably, you know, <gasps> probably. I have no regrets about my tenure on the show. I have no regrets about this season. I, I couldn't have asked for a better partner to end it with. Thank you. Is there anything they could do to keep you on the show? Again, life is dynamic. You know, there's no burned bridges, and, and we'll see what happens. Well, then what is potentially next for you? I know you have that dance studio that you've opened with Max. You guys yeah. do so much together. Yeah, we have Dance With Me Dance Studios. We, it's not about that. I, I'm a, I'm a, I preach the gospel of dance. And Olivia, as you just said, you're taking control of your narrative a little bit. You've been able to do that with dancing, with the podcast. I know in this week's episode with Ryan Lochte, he was your guest, mm -hmm. and you said the media has twisted a lot about you and that you still have a lot to clear up. What do you want to clear up? What side of your story do you still want to tell? Oh boy. <laughs> I think in general right now in the world, like the media is biased and I think there are things that are said that aren't always accurate or there are sources that aren't maybe actual close sources mm. that get put out there. So I've read a lot of stuff that I look at it and I'm just like, I wonder where they got that like piece of information from just because it's not true. Um, so I don't know exactly what I even really meant by saying I want to clear something specific up, but I think just more so show my personality and um, yeah, just a different side of myself. Kind of what I've been saying on Dancing with the Stars too. It's just like show who I am at my core and I'm not everything that I think the media has written about me. Val, um, your wife, Jenna, she told us about a hidden talent of yours. Oh. And we would like to see it for ourselves. So <sighs> could you do us the honor? Oh, wow. <gasps> no way. I haven't no gotten way. to hear him play this before. Wow, we're really doing this. A violin player. <laughs> What? 